Hey there, everybody. It's Scott, the Wisconsin, Florida project guy. So I got myself another project that I'm working on. This is just the planning stages. So every time I come out and work in the garage, it is really hot out here. It's not like Wisconsin where I, my shop was down in my basement. And it was always cool down in my basement. Probably 70 degrees or less all the time. So when you come to Florida here, no basements. So my shop is the garage now. So when I come out here, it is now with these temperatures, it's pretty hot out here. The other day it was like 88, 90 out here. So my honey, she doesn't like it when I work out there. I knew I always wanted to get air conditioning in the garage. So they have what's called these split, uh, mini split units. But they're anywhere from twelve to to $2,000. Then you have to have electricity run to them. You have to get a permit. You have to get a HOA approval. I didn't want to go that route. So I thought to myself, they got them portable air conditioners. And we were actually using one at work there in the guard shack. So I thought, I'm going to buy one of those and figure out how to, because with those, you got to vent them out. Here's your air conditioner. I got it running. So what I did for today and just to see, to make sure the thing might cool down, I made this temporary thing to discharge the air because normally this hose they have a thing that you put in your window that and then the hose attaches and it blows out a window well obviously I don't have no windows in the garage and I didn't want to cut a hole in the garage door so I made this temporary wood system that I attached the outlet to the exhaust and now I'm going to see what I could do I got this fan blowing so now the cool air will blow towards my shop I mean, I do most of my work where the air conditioner is when I'm woodworking, but uh, this, this ceiling, it's, it's insulated, but there's no house above it. Where the other area here where I'll walk to now, this is insulated and there's the houses above it, bedrooms and stuff. So that's why I, this is where I'm going to put the air conditioner. So what I'm going to do, I remove some of my racks here and you can see where the black holes are. It's actually the hole to the right. I'm going to bust the hole through the concrete block and I'm going to get some uh, sheet metal, uh, like a dryer exhaust, six inch, and I'm going to vent out right through the side. And then I'm going to hair, hang the air conditioner from the ceiling here. I'll connect to these racks here and have a platform for the air conditioner to sit up. So the air conditioner will sit up in the pie because the hot air is always to the top. So this is where the cool air always drop so if you start the cool air at the highest point the cooler will drop so i think it's going to heat pretty good so what i also had that i made years ago i got this curtain and so when i'm working inside this area here i'll just shut this curtain and hopefully i can get this area down to like anywhere from 75 to 80 degrees because it now would be such a small area but I will open the curtain in if I'm working in here, but I don't like that if I'm really cutting because the sawdust gets over here. So I have to think what I want to do about that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so I'm experimenting for a couple of days with the air conditioner like this while I got to shut the garage door tonight. So, uh, but I'm going to see how much I can get it down to today, being that it's so hot always. Because if I can get it down to 80 in here, I know I can get it down to 75 in this shop area. So that's my project for today. I'm actually going to run to Home Depot now and get the dryer vent and adapter. I got to get a bit for my hammer drill because I got a hammer drill that can pound. Uh, first, I'm going to drill holes through the block and then I'm going to pound it out with the hammer drill. And hopefully there's not concrete in there besides a the concrete cinder block. Uh, sometimes they fill the cores up with concrete and I don't know if they did or not. So I'll see what I could do. But otherwise, the only downfall with this test, I'll show you. The garage door, it's sort of open up on top, you know, because you're not down to the floor. So it's letting in some hot air, and plus, you can see where this joint is there. That's open up a little bit. But at least it's just a test. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to go rest for a little bit. I already started early working on this part of it. So talk to you all later. Bye.
Yeah, Scott the Florida Project Guy again. I just want to show you the outside how it looked in there where it's venting out. Did a pretty good job there thinking this out here. So that's like my temporary. But then like I said, you can see the void here. What I could do, I got a roll of insulation. I could actually add the insulation in there maybe. And that hot air is really blowing out. You can feel the hot air exhausting. So you know it's cooling something. All right, everybody. I just want to show you the outside. Catch you all later. Bye.